Hi everyone, I'm Jacqueline Yu and I'm here live on the red carpet at the 2017 annual East Bay Innovation Awards. What are you guys looking forward to the most tonight? Well, I'm really looking forward to honoring Bear Corporation. I know that they're getting this amazing award and recognition tonight. They absolutely deserve it. And I'm really excited. I got to do another plug for the City of Hayward. The City of Hayward is really showing up and representing tonight. So I'm excited to see what happens at the, at the awards ceremony. Nice. I'm yeah. excited too. Thank you. What about you. I'm happy to see Hayward being represented on the map here. I think it's an amazing time for Hayward and just seeing us being recognized as a city for its industry and what we're building here together is amazing. Well, we're, gonna rec we're looking to recognize a couple of Livermore companies tonight, Lamb and also. So Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory and their partnership with the Las Positas College. Oh, okay, Las Positas College. Nice, I've heard of that. They do some great work out there. About yes. 9,000 students. We've got a, a, a winemaking program. We've got uh, uh, med tech, uh, nice. emergency tech, firefighter uh, uh, awesome. programs. Great school, uh, great yeah. folks. Just being here, it was really great to be oh, nominated. Yeah. No, really, I mean, it's our company's first, you know, foray into being awarded for something and being a finalist is great. It's great companies. Would you like to talk a little bit more about your company? Sure. We uh, make uh, puree, ground, and soft chop meals for adults with swallowing problems. So primarily healthcare, but you know, food that's actually real food that's good food. So it's nice. Awesome. I'm looking for the innovation. I'm looking for something new. Um, these, it's a, it's a really cool thing that um, we're giving awards out for people to just to to be better than themselves. Well, this is our second time being nominated in education. Oh, yeah. So I'm seriously hoping that this year Hackload is the lucky winner. And if we're not, it's an honor. So um, I'm fortunate enough to be nominated. My um, uh, competitor is also my largest customer. So. <laughs> So it doesn't really matter. I get to win tonight. Yeah, it's amazing. Tonight, um, I'm really looking forward to learning about some of the different companies that win the different awards. So, you know, always like a really good uh, learning experience here at the Innovation Awards. Oh, just hearing about some of the wonderful companies in the East Bay. I mean, we've got some amazing ones in Hayward. I know over a thousand advanced industry companies in Hayward, 400 biotech companies in Hayward. Most people don't know that. And so it's kind of nice to come out and get to showcase some of our wonderful innovative companies. Companies. The winners. I was seeing the innovation. We have so much innovation in the East Bay, and I'm always just amazed at what nuances people have taken with technology. There's always something new, something exciting that's happening here. Nice. What about you? We're looking forward to the winners coming out to meet us in Danville and to other cities because it's a chance to introduce some of these entrepreneurs to living out in the farther East Bay. We want more people to be from both counties all the time and I think that looking at us as a region, this is the opportunity to do that. Oh well, of course, as always at an award ceremony like this, I'm looking forward to hearing the winners announced and I certainly hope one of our three Hayward finalists gets to be one of those winners. I like to see uh, the, um, the trophies, the, the awards. I don't know if Fathom is doing them again this year, but they're always really interesting. Uh, looking forward to hearing all of the different companies that have been awarded. The East Bay is a very, very interesting and unique ecosystem for innovation, and I'm really excited to hear from all of the companies. Well, I'm always anticipating the winner, because I know we've gone through an extensive process that took a long time for us to go through probably about 80 to 90 applications, and then we had a, a people from city managers from across the Bay Area, private interest people, all coming together to decide who that number one company will be this year. When I'm Melissa uh, well, I'm most looking forward to ripping the paper uh, because I uh, I introduced the names for the uh, Cyclotron Road here yeah, and the uh, Kapoor K4 um, Center tonight. And so, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Is there going to be a repeat of the Academy Awards? Uh, no, I'm not going to mess up. No, -uh. I'm going to have a, I'm going to read. I mean, I, Steve probably didn't know how to read. I know how to read. So, but that was the that was the uh, Steve probably did the other event. That's right. Oh yeah, yeah Steve, Steve Harvey. Harvey did the other event. That's right. You won't pull a Steve Harvey. <laughs> well, it's been recognized all over the world as the second best place to live in the entire world next oh, to Singapore. Uh -huh. And so, as a result of that, it attracts the best brains. It attracts the diversity of thought and innovation and creativity. And we've been known for it and it's been verified, so it's pretty exciting. This place is booming, and I see this as an entirely different environment um, with 
a lot more innovative companies, a lot more young people participating, lots of startups, kind of like a expanded Silicon Valley, I suppose. Ooh, in 10 years? Uh, probably a lot like it is today at the forefront. I mean, yeah. it's basically the confluence of all the things that my business needs yeah. as far as talent and access to government agencies and, and everything. In 10 years, I see the East Bay uh, to continue to be the uh, economic development engine that uh, it has been, whereby it would attract uh, a whole lot more businesses uh, as partners and to help us to be uh, the uh, STEM area of, uh, uh, of, of the East Bay and California. I have high dreams for them. The East Bay in 10 years, I mean, I think that we're, you know, going to continue to, you know, have a really growing, increasingly vibrant business community. Um, you know, there's, uh, you know, bound to be a lot of changes and challenges, but, uh, you know, it's an exciting time. The East Bay is the center of California right now, and in 10 years, it's going to be the center of the world. Um, I think for the next 10 years, um, because the port and some of our ancillary move good, uh, movement of goods is, is growing at such a rapid pace, I think California and this region in particular is really going to set the tone for um, advanced technology on how we are um, going to be improving technologies around good movements. I feel like the East Bay is going to be solution makers and thinking about the innovation awards and all of the companies and the entities that it represents, I feel like that's more, we need more of that and, and, and ultimately I feel like the nation is looking at us for solutions and, and, and I think that they're here and they will be. Well I've been representing Oakland since 1969 for my mom uh -huh. and I really see the East Bay as a hotbed for innovation, for young people to start companies, for young people to inspire the world. I think uh, there's a lot of uh, great things like coding and engineering and, and even design for good, but how do we get young people to think outside the box even more and actually want to do social good? Because I think uh, a lot of young people are taught to just make the six figures, but how do we actually get them to think beyond and actually change the world? What's your favorite East Bay restaurant? Uh, probably Flora. Flora? Yeah, which is right across the street. What kind of food is Flora? Um, it's an interesting mix. It's Tom Schnutz. He's got a couple of restaurants. Nice. It's really good. Yeah, have you been? Awesome. I haven't actually Okay, so near my office, of course, uh, there is a ramen joint called Ishin Ramen that is just my absolute treat. We have our, our monthly corporate meeting there, and it's something to look forward to. Oh my goodness, favorite place to eat right now is probably Miss Ollie's. Oh my goodness, my favorite restaurant in the East Bay would definitely be Camino. Camino? What kind of food is Camino? Camino is farm-to-table food. It's uh, all locally sourced, and it's cooked in a big wood-burning oven. You're killing me. Oh my gosh, there's so many places. Oh. I really like Moise. Moise? Moise? Moise. It's called Moise here in Oakland. Nice. It's one of my favorite. What yeah. kind of food is it? It's a lot of small dishes, uh -huh. and uh, they have a great bar. Mm -hmm. And great atmosphere. It's basically, uh, it's been, it was like an auto repair shop that they've turned into a fantastic restaurant. It's in Auto Row. So, favorite place to eat in the East Bay? Um, that's a hard question. I, that's what I've been hearing. Yeah. Lots of good um, food. I'm gonna just say my grandma's cooking. Oh. Yeah, so this is my house. Um, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, that's why I was eating fresh before anything else. Yeah, of course. Yeah, this is my grandma's, because she's from the South, and so, you know, she makes gumbo and stuff like that, so, okay. yeah, so. Yeah. Oh my gosh, well, um, we have some outstanding restaurants in Hayward, and it would be really hard to pick one, uh, and there are restaurants I like elsewhere, but I'm going to say, we have a restaurant called Buffalo Bills, it's been there forever, if you just want some good food, you know, to go with some home, just homemade, beer, not homemade, but you know, uh, craft beer yeah. uh, made on the premises. Uh, you know, um, sandwiches, wonderful soups, and outdoor eating, indoor patio, right across the street from our movie theater. That's the place to go in Hayward. Mine is uh, my, my my wife's kitchen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, if, 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 uh, in addition to that, private pecan. 
is uh, my next favorite. Gordos. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Taqueria. It's crispy chicken tacos with the guacamole uh -huh. and the sour cream and all that. And you know, you eat like four of those and you're solid. Oh, that's a tough one. You know, the East Bay has so many good places oh, to eat. Yeah. Um, I would generally, you know, I like the cafe scene. So the Terra, Tierra Mia Cafe uh, just off of 19th Street in Oakland is excellent. My favorite East Bay restaurant. Well, let's see. There's there's a few. I like taquerias. So you know, in the city of Hayward, we have you know Metro Taquero. We got Uru, Tacos Uru Wapan. Uh, but at the same time, we have uh, great Chinese restaurants, uh, Chef's Experience in downtown Hayward. Uh, and then, of course, one of my all-time favorite favorite steakhouses is uh, Newman Ollie's in downtown Hayward. Yep. Nice. Okay. Well, now I'm hungry and I want to go eat, but I have to stay here to interview. So how about the next question? It's going to be a completing a sentence question. Okay. So. The East Bay is the best place to do business. It's the place for innovation. Nice. Wonderful place to grow and up and live. One of the rockingest innovative regions in the nation. The best place to live in the Bay Area. The greatest place to be. The place to start a business, to grow a family, and to work. This is a fabulous, wonderful place. The East Bay is America. The best place to live in America. A fantastic place to live. Amazing. <laughs> I'm just very um, open to new business and the economy is growing like crazy. Home. Home and, and where my business thrives. A great place to be educated and to do business. Great. But the East Bay is a dynamic enclave and one of the best places in the United States to live. The East Bay is the center of the Bay Area. And, you know, it's all about location. We are where it's happening. We're the crossroads. We've got everything you need to, to start and develop a business. Original. Exciting. Uh, East Bay is amazing. 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 Yeah. amazing. Home as well. Home. Home. Nice. The very best place to live, work, and do business. Well, thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful night and great meeting you again. Thank you.